Hello everyone! So we're back again on the deck um, for the second day in the row because I have some more family news to share with you guys. And today it's that my grandmother, and my tutu lady, is passing away right now. Um, she's very old and she's seen a lot of amazing things in her life. She actually saw Pearl Harbor be bombed when she was a child. Um, she's Hawaiian. That's where I all the Hawaiian parts of me come from, are from my tutu lady, my grandmother. Uh, she's my father's mother, and kind of like last night, this isn't unexpected. It's just never pleasant when it's the time. And she's in Missouri right now with the rest of my family. I'm here in North Carolina, kind of away from everyone, but um, it's very expensive and it's kind of hard to just get to the other side of the country uh, on such short notice. But um, yeah, my, my grandmother is passing away right now and it might happen tonight or it might happen over the next few days. Those of you who have lost elders in your family before know that these things aren't always as clear-cut as you wish they could be for everybody involved, especially for them. And I really am more heartbroken for my dad, who already was so sad about Zoe and, and losing her last night to have him deal with this today. Um, and just like I said last night, I'm not trying to make this kind of video for sympathy or anything like that, and I was actually feeling pretty much back into my normal routine before I got all of the phone calls and the frantic messages this afternoon of telling stories and adventures, and it's just the journey that we're on together, you guys. The, the beauty of life is something that I do my absolute best to show you guys and push myself to grow to be able to share with you guys <laughs> all of the trips to Baldhead Island and the animals and the stories that we tell and the work that we do together as a community and that's all a huge part of it and it's beautiful and part of the beauty believe it or not of life is when it ends you can't fully appreciate the sheer gorgeous unique beauty of a life if you don't acknowledge that one day that life will end that's kind of what makes every single person so amazing and worthwhile and worthy of living and it makes every experience no matter how much it makes your heart break so painfully beautiful is that there's a beginning and an ending to those stories. And my tutu's ending is coming, and it feels weird to say that, but I worked actually as a CNA, a certified nurse assistant, at the exact nursing home she's in right now in Missouri. And so I can actually close my eyes and I know what the room she's probably in is. I've probably walked in it before when I was taking care of other people. And my family is there, my dad is there, he and my other male relatives were able to give her a blessing, and they're with her. And I, oh, my little heart hurts right now, sorry, it's taking my breath away somewhat. And all I'll say more on that is that it's the same feeling of the waves of grief and acceptance and love and love that come and go. Losing someone is very hard, but that doesn't mean you stop loving them. And that's very comforting to me. And now I'm rambling again, so I'll... I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to lay my head down on Chips's shoulder and he is breaking our no sweets in the house rule because on his own he has come up with a recipe for vegan brownies and vanilla ice cream that he's making right now. It's time to break out the ice cream and brownies and 
sit with each other. And it's that ebb and that flow like I talked about last night, but magnified so much louder right now. Of I might uh, continue making videos and acting normal, or I might have stuff that's scheduled to go up that will come out. So it'll seem like nothing's going on to you guys, but just I wanted to let you guys know if things are missing. My head's really spinning right now. <laughs> my heart is my heart is going through a little bit of a a shifting with the tide. That ebb and that flow of memory and the joy of making new adventures. I am Siri. I tell stories. I create adventures. I try to share my joy and my passion for the natural world with everyone. And that's something that doesn't really turn off or dim. So for me, healing is in creation and making more things. And so I will have, I will probably go through the motions just like when I lost my grandfather or the other times my heart has broken and create because I found through doing this actually, doing the videos when I was suffering and my heart hurt the most, that there's nothing that really helps more than to try to bring joy and happiness and stories to you guys, to the world, to transmute that pain into something beautiful. So I really honestly can't tell you guys anything about schedules or what I have planned. Because right now I'm just going to let the schedule kind of be like a dandelion. You blow on it and just let it go away in the wind. But I know I'm going to create. I just don't know what. And I know we'll be back to normal because we have to be back to normal because this is my career. And I am taking care of my family. And I have to do what I can so I can try to help take care of my dad at this time too. Well, I'm just trying to say like... Don't think I'm heartless, but I'm probably not going to take eons off because for me there's nothing that heals more than creation. But I don't know what I'm going to create for the next little while, so if you guys can just hang in there while I sort of find whatever it is I need to make that can fit into what hurts in my heart right now and make it feel better then I hope we can be back to our schedules for everything else in another couple weeks maybe. I can't put a time on it, but it probably won't be long and I hope that doesn't make me sound heartless. I just know that even when it hurts there are places where if you can kind of pick yourself up off the ground and brush off your knees and keep the love you feel in your heart alive there are places in the world where even when something like pain like this happens, you can still see and celebrate and appreciate the beautiful things. And even though to some people this might just be somewhere where I upload videos of video games on the internet, the underlying force behind it has always been trying to share beauty and joy and creativity with the world. And I can't think of anything that makes my heart slow down and stop hurting as much as that. So hang in there guys. I'll be okay. I really hope my dad will be okay too. That's what I'm most worried about but he's had a wonderful mother and she has shaped an amazing man with so much love and dedication and loyalty for his family and his heart. So I can't think of a better legacy to see alive in him for my grandmother. So I'm going to stop now and go and rest in the quieter inward privacy of my home with chips. And then we'll see where we go from here. But it is a little bit of a double whammy of a couple days and I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> 
because I do get hundreds of questions and comments when I am not uploading things and it can be a little bit stressful to go through something like this and have people go, where's Wolf Quest? Where's Zoo Crafting? Where's this? Where's this? So I wanted to make this video so that I can just rip the band-aid off again and tell you guys this is what's going on and that's where those things are and like the tide ebbs and flows just hang in there with me and we'll we'll come back in a little bit but I'll still be here I love what we do I love you guys I love my family I love it all I love life and this is part of it this is something on some level to love too alright hang in there guys I'll be back in a bit.